Hi everyone! I decided to make this video to share with you my story in this cute animation way. And I hope that will inspire you to follow your dreams and believe in yourself. So let's go! I was born in 1984 in a cold country with no sun called Russia. I was the only child in my family and since my mom was a musician, my life choice was kind of made when I was only five. And I was playing with those white and black keys as long as I remember myself. But my true love that time was the bunnies. And later on when I grew up I had over 100 adorable bunnies in my backyard. Look how cute he is! So if you ever want to make a gift for me, just get me a bunny. <laughs> okay, so at the age of seven I entered the music school in Moscow that had the best reputation, at least in Russia. The school gives professional musical education and prepares every genius kid to become next generation star. Central Music School. Yeah, that's the name. Well, 20 years ago it looked a bit different. This would look more realistic. <laughs> so every single day I would practice piano under much pressure of my teacher and school curriculum. I remember myself having this notebook where I would write down my daily practicing Monday, 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. 4 to 6 p.m., 8 to 10 p.m., just like that every single day. Anyways, it seemed that wasn't enough to play piano well. My teachers kept scolding me, and my parents got very frustrated. I thought I'm not as good as others, and gradually the only feeling I had about playing piano was terrifying fear. I thought I'm not good enough, and the only thing that will let people love me again is if one day I play well. Well, I must say that in my teen years I participate in competitions almost every year and surprisingly for me I always won some prizes. Another kid would get super excited about that, but not me. I really didn't believe I deserved those prizes because I knew my technique was very poor, I felt stiffness and pain in my hands, and it would take months for me to learn any piece, so why would I get any prizes? Everything was changed on the morning of December 1999 when I accidentally broke my eardrum and the local nurse made it even worse by bringing some infection inside the ear, so I was brought to a hospital where I spent my next month in a bed with IV in my hand. And the situation was pretty bad and doctors said I needed surgery to cut my ear. But by prayers of blessed members of my family, the infection was gone and the surgery was needed. Alright, that despite of the terrifying circumstances, I must say I was completely happy and joyful. I got so many cool friends in the hospital and we were staying up all night, having much fun and annoying our nurses. And the best thing was that I didn't need to come back to school for a year. Means no suffocation, no pressure anymore, no exams and competitions. Freedom. So now I had more time to spend with me, myself and I, to look around and do what I left to do mostly, which is walking along in the nature with music in my earphones. I must say the Russian can be very, very beautiful in summertime somewhere out of the city. And I did enjoy every single day spending there. But one day something very significant happened to me. I was crossing the field while listening to music and all of a sudden I felt so much love and light around me, like I wasn't an individual anymore, separated from other things around, but I was one with everything. I was actually everything. That light freed me from any fears I would ever had about people and myself. I simply knew I was here to change people's life. That's it. The rest of the day and all other days of that summer I spent in complete bliss swinging and listening to music, tuning into that light, love and freedom. And when I came back home I knew what to do. I knew that I would do anything to find a way to play piano well. Why? Because I wanted to be able to express through my playing that beautiful angelic world that touched my heart that summer day. And the ideas and insights just popped up in my mind. While playing, I would start feeling some formulas about body movement and sound. I couldn't continue playing, I would have to stop and started writing down everything in my notebook that I always kept on my piano. I should say I've written many, many, many pages in my notebooks, trying to systemize everything that I felt and translated it into words and actions. That time I was also reading many books about piano technique written by masters of 20th century. Also, I was packed with all kind of master classes I attended and private lessons with professors. 
I would listen to recorded lesson over and over again, trying to feel what could resonate with me, and then I would start applying it, feeling if it was really helping or dragging me to the wrong direction. Sometimes I would spend weeks to perfect some ideas and playing, but after realizing that it didn't really help, I would have to give up and start over again with something new. Yeah, and I look just like this crazy professor, happy and passionate. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I spent my next years, keeping my research in a secret and not giving up even for a day. I would think about my system days and nights, literally. In fact, some of the great ideas came to me during sleeping. So that time I gradually started improving my playing, my hands stopped aching, my technique became more fluent and sound became more powerful and beautiful. I was happy and confident. I gladly attended all the lessons in my new musical college and finished it after four years with a second diploma. Yay! And next step was entering one of the top musical conservatories in the world, Moscow State Conservatory named after Piotr Tchaikovsky. In 2007, I had already a pretty solid system of piano playing that changed my technique amazingly, and so I opened my website where I was posting some articles about piano world system. That's how I called it. Also, I made a couple of books and DVDs to share my knowledge with students like me. But the reality was a bit different from my expectations, and my fresh enthusiasm gradually faded away, bringing me down into deep frustration. And the same year, I accidentally broke my eardrum on the same injured ear. Again, I was scared to death because I almost lost the ability to hear with my right ear. But what really made me lose my faith was that new, weird electrical sensation in my elbows and wrists that prevented my hands and fingers from moving. I couldn't play anymore, I was scared, ashamed and absolutely hopeless. Doctors confirmed focal dystonia of hands, which is not curable. I deeply believed that the cause of the pain was my system, despite the fact that it actually freed my hands before and improved my technique magically. So I felt that 20 years of my life were wasted, and especially those 10 years of passion and searching of piano world system. But I graduated from conservatory with my master's degree diploma, and on the same day I flew to the United States of America to stay for the next three years in the house with bunnies in my backyard, becoming a housewife, forgetting about playing piano and my past achievements, becoming absolutely miserable from emptiness of my life. But one day my life had turned 180 degrees. After attending one of the local churches, I felt that there was something that I needed to move on again. And I was right. Listening to services, praying, worshiping, and reading Bible gradually gave me the most sacred, significant, and powerful thing one can ever have. Faith. Love and faith let me start believing in the possibilities of my recovery. And very soon I left States to start my life over again in a beautiful, sunny Singapore, the city of flowers. I started gradually, very carefully and delicately touching the piano again, worshipping God with my playing, and by the end of 2013 I had a pretty large repertoire with Christian music and some performances at my church. I felt blessed, my faith became solid, and I finally found peace in my life. And in the beginning of 2014, I surprisingly found myself on a stage where I was ready to start piano world again with new website and books. This time I named my website The Art of Piano Technique. And soon I came up with a brilliant idea to share my teaching on the YouTube channel. It's free, it's available for everyone, and anyone who is seeking this type of knowledge can find my videos. That was a breakthrough for me. Finally, after 15 years of waiting, I could reach out to people who are struggling in their practicing, who need the missing knowledge to play piano well, and who I want to help so, so much. <laughs> so, my dear friends, the message I wanted to share with you today is no matter how much pain, frustrations and doubts you have, you can always believe again, start afresh and do what you love. Because it's better to try than give up living an empty life. Because everything is possible, no matter what, period. And always believe in yourself. I guess that's the key for a happy life. <laughs> so just, just go into the world and just do what you love, what you're passionate about with no excuses. You know, you create your own world. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.